Assess the site of insertion. Position the patient in the sitting posture with the arms and the head resting on the bedside. If the patient is unable to sit, make the patient lie at the edge of the bed on the affected side with an ipsilateral arm over the head and the mid-axillary line. After identifying the position, clean the area with betadine and leave the area for 30 seconds. By using the ultrasound probe, mark the site where the puncture was done. At the puncture mark, 2% xylocaine or lidocaine is administered as anesthesia so that the patient doesn't feel the pain during the procedure. Now, insert the 16-gauge IV at the unmarked site. Under the ultrasound guidance, advance the needle into the pleura and make sure that the needle is not inserted into the intercostals nerve and blood vessels that run on the underside of the rib. Once the pleural fluid starts coming out the cannula, slowly remove the needle. Now, connect the IV set to the cannula and start draining the pleural fluid. Collect the necessary amount of pleural fluid into the sample containers. After completely draining out the pleural fluid, slowly remove the cannula from the site of insertion under the ultrasound guidance. Clean the area and cover the insertion site with a sterile occlusive dressing to maintain the compression. Thoracentesis may relieve pressure from fluid on the lungs by treating symptoms such as pain and shortness of breath. Evaluation of the fluid removal may help in determining the underlying cause of excess fluid in the pleural space.